Hello, welcome back YouTube fans, and I'm going to be reviewing the last item of the Ultraman Geed Deluxe Toy Series. Now, this is the Giga Finalizer. It's from the movie, which at time of recording, I have not seen because it's a Japanese movie and has not yet been released on DVD or Blu-ray, and no one's ripped it. So I can't even get, like, clips from it off YouTube to see and get an idea of what's actually in the movie, nor has it been put on Hulu or any of the other legitimate streaming services that have run these shows. I recommend taking a look if you can, because the Ultraman movies have always been pretty interesting, especially compared to some uh, Sentai and Kamen Rider series that I've seen in the past. Now, with this, it's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. I waited until there was a big price drop on it and got it pretty inexpensively. Though I do feel that it's a little more expensive than it should be. I feel it should have been priced a bit lower. But overall, it's a pretty fun little gadget. Now, it does require two AAAs on the back side here. And it's got a screw cap, which I really wish they'd go back to just putting the little buttons you can press and it pops it off. Having to use a screwdriver is one of the things I'm not as fond of because I always worry that at some point I'm going to screw up and strip the screw heads. Or someone will. It's just one of those things with screws that I like the little release catches that those little hidden buttons do. Uh, but that's just me. Now, this comes with one blue Ultraman capsule, which is meant to be the final evolution. There's also basically the same tech hidden inside this part of the staff, and it, there's basically, the staff itself is another capsule. Now, you don't have to switch that part on to use it, but you can plug it in here. There's also a little release button here. Pops it out. And also on the back, they didn't include an instructions sheet, so they put all of the instructions quite literally on the back of the box. So, anyway, let's get started. First, Now, something you need to know is, if you swap in any other Ultraman capsule, this is Gig Ginga. Now, just for comparison, The capsule alone just does that little whirl noise. And the same for the staff. Apparently you have to do it twice, I sometimes consider. So... So, basically, you have to scan both the capsule and the stud inside the staff to make the ultimate evolution sound effect happen. Now, the staff itself also has a couple of functions. 
Also, if you're wondering what happens if you put one of the monster ones in, it won't work. It'll just do the regular deactivate sound and switch over to the kaiju one and ignore this entirely. This was a little disappointing to me because I kind of hoped you could slot one in and would do something similar to Ultraman Bellia's Giga Battle Nizer, which this is based off of. But unfortunately not. A little bit of a letdown there. But anyway, first, turning it on. Now, this... has two sound effects when you're just pushing the button. It sounds pretty similar. There might be a slight difference. Now, there is three more effects. First, And then switches back. Sorry, this one just does not like to cooperate. Now I remember. When it's open, press this. And 
and the number of pulls down after you've pressed the button and held it while it's open will activate the different effects. Sorry, I had it backwards for a bit there. But basically that's it. You've got three modes. That, And there you have it. There's not a lot of function to this one, unlike the previous uh, capsules that have been released. It's nice, and I do like that it scans for the ultimate transformation, which you can see here on the box. But all in all, I feel that they could have put more into this. Now, the two halves of it are basically it. The bottom half here is not electronic. It's just the chips that work with the Geed riser. And the top half is all the electronic stuff. So, you don't even have to have the thing turned on to use the riser section. It is, however, kind of a scepter-like device. I kind of like it for that. But I do feel that this item does lack a lot of the function of, some e of even the Super Sentai or Kamen Rider items. Especially things like... For example, the full bottle Buster I did a review on, or even some of the stuff I haven't, like Kamen Rider Wizard's Gun Sword. So, I have to say, this one's definitely an iffy one. If you really like Ultraman Geed, this is definitely something you should get, especially with the movie. But, if you're not a huge Geed fan, this is something you could probably skip. You might even want to skip this capsule. It is in the Gachapon, but... On its own, I don't think it'll work. Now, it is possible the Gachapon capsule is different and will trigger the effect just because it's on its own. But on its own, it doesn't do much else. There's no even real reason not to keep it in all the time unless you're role-playing for something because the capsule doesn't do anything and neither does this section unless it's linked together. So, there you have it. It's okay. Not great, but not bad either. Definitely an okay item. Anyway, please subscribe, comment, and like this video. Share it with your friends, and you can talk to me on Twitter at the link below, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!